A leader in Decatur opposed the bonuses for their retirees because he preferred to support a splash pad. He said that retirees could take their grandchildren there. That is unbelievable. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? All right, folks, Adam Keller here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about local government retirees. Every month, the Retirement Systems of Alabama sends out its newsletter called the RSA Advisor to all of its members. I appreciate that the head of the RSA, Dr. David Bronner, frequently uses his platform to advocate for common sense ways to make Alabama better, from repeatedly urging the expansion of Medicaid to highlighting the extraordinarily low property tax rates in the state. No doubt, this is just one of the many, many reasons why Dr. Bronner inspires such jealousy and disdain among certain circles of the ALGOP. This month, he chose to name and shame some local governments who did not follow suit with the state and grant bonuses to their retirees. And folks, I'm definitely here for this naming and shaming. From the October Advisor, quote, recognizing the strain that inflation was putting on retirees, the Alabama legislature granted bonuses to all retired public education employees and state employees, which were paid in April. The legislature also authorized the almost 800 local government employers who have retirees, including cities, counties, boards, and commissions that participate in the RSA to provide these same bonuses to their retirees. Of those, 475 local employers accepted this opportunity to help their retirees by authorizing these bonuses. These bonuses will be paid in October. Unfortunately, just over 300 local employers declined to provide this additional benefit to their retirees. Close quote. Now, before we go on, I want to add that these bonuses are incredibly modest. We're talking, you know, a couple hundred bucks in most cases. Education and state retirees have gone well over a decade without a true COLA or cost of living adjustment. Dr. Bronner is resistant to any kind of unfunded COLA, which I believe is the responsible position for him to have. But of course, the supermajority controlling Alabama's government is resistant to almost any kind of new tax revenue that might could fund, fund a COLA. And many of the GOP legislators have been dismissive of even the merit of a COLA separate from any funding concerns. In other words, they would be opposed to giving state and education retirees a COLA, even if there was plenty of money lying around to pay for it. They argue that since they are privileged to have a defined benefit pension, they know exactly how much their retirement will be for the rest of their lives, and they shouldn't expect it to go up. Of course, that's easier said than done for the retirees across Alabama facing rising cost of living and declining purchasing power. Public education and government retirees dedicated years of their life and their labor to our society and our state, and I don't think it's asking too much that we honor their contribution and ensure they can retire in dignity. All that to say, I think this retiree bonus falls far short of what these retired workers deserve. But it is a step in the right direction, so credit to everyone involved for making that happen. I hope that you can build on this foundation and keep moving forward. And credit to the local governments who made the choice to do the right thing and pay this bonus to their lo local retirees. Shame on those who chose not to. Going back to the October advisor, quote, some of the reasons that have been given actually show the ignorance of a few local leaders in ignoring the public employees who work daily to bring the local unit to its current status. Close quote. Bronner praises Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle, but calls him out for opposing the retiree bonuses, having had to be overruled by his city council. Moving south, quote, the mayor of Orange Beach opposed the bonus, saying RSA is a casino betting the house's money. Obviously, the mayor does not understand how defined benefit pension systems work, nor does he understand that the public employee's bonus only cost a mere one-time total of $35,692 for Orange Beach. And these are the people who made Orange Beach a great destination. Destination. The mayor is operating in a fog. The RSA owned Raycom from 1996 to 2018 and had 12% of viewers in the United States. Raycom merged with Gray Media and now broadcast to about 34% of viewers across the country. 
During all this time, the RSA has used tens of millions of dollars in ad time that advertised and supported all the businesses of our beautiful beaches. The RSA has supported Orange Beach, and Orange Beach should support RSA's retirees. Close quote. Bronner was obviously not amused with the mayor of Orange Beach's ignorant remark. Next, again from the October RSA advisor, quote, a leader in Decatur opposed the bonuses for their retirees, which would have cost the city $252,030, because he did not want to fund something for a specific group, but preferred to spend public funds on things that benefit all citizens. When asked about his support for a splash pad and who benefited from that, he said that retirees could take their grandchildren there. That is unbelievable. And let me add, for the mayor of Decatur, maybe retirees could afford to take their grandkids to the splash pad you built if the city had done the right thing and honored these bonuses. That money would have gone straight back into the local economy, and they should know that. Closing out from the RSA advisor, Quote, the RSA manages and invests the funds for local employers and then uses these funds to pay the retirement obligations of local employers. The RSA cannot decide on its own to provide additional benefits to retirees. Only after a le legislation can the local employers make that decision pursuant to the law. We are happy that most retirees have received or will receive a bonus this year. We regret that some of our participants did not receive a bonus because their former employer employers chose to fund other, object, uh, other projects or interests while ignoring inflation's effect on long-time long citizens that gave years of dedicated service to their local agency or government. Remember that when these local politicians want your vote. Close quote. And amen, Dr. Bronner. The retirees deserve better. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project. And you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. 